You go science fans. Let me see something really, really cool. This is what a science person would say. That's cool. It's unbelievable that humans can take over control. Look. They stuck wires in this fucking bug's brain and made it into a a robot slave. Cyborg. That's a fun that's a nice way of saying robot slave, isn't it? Cyborg. Makes it sound exciting. These fucking psychopaths. Look at these people. They are completely without ethics. They're forcing it to do this. To literally turn it into a puppet with their with their technology, with their science. And so yes. Yes, yeah, so the title of this video you think it's going to stop at bugs? Okay. Okay. You think it's going to stop at bugs? Do you think it's going to stop at bugs? Do you think it's going to stop at bugs? Do you think it's going to stop at bugs? Anybody remember these photos and wh where they're from? How old they are? This technology has been around since the 50s and 60s. And now it's on Vice. Now it's on Vice, you see? Because they're seeing how much evil you can suck down with your Slurpee, with your fucking combo from the fast food joint. How much evil can you tolerate? How evil will you become? to make the almighty dollar. Do you understand that these people that are torturing this insect are considered as the best and brightest of our entire species? That they're the ones that we're all supposed to look up to? They're the ones that are gonna lead us into the future? Do you understand what the future is now? This is the future. In case you're so dumb that you haven't figured it out yet. This is what we do to nature. And if you can do this to your closest relative, and you can do this to your neighbor, and if you can do this to neighbor to your neighbor and your closest relative, then don't you deserve to have it done to yourself? That you can sit by and let these things happen And all we think about is our stupid entertainment, our celebrities and our moronic celebrities and how they're always arguing in the politics and left versus right and me, 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 me. Meanwhile, the universe is deciding whether or not to exterminate this entire species because I can't say we sure as hell don't deserve it. Because if you don't stand up for nature, nature's going to take the only course of action that she has available to take. And the truth being, if you don't stand up for nature, this is what you will be. This is what your kids, your grandkids, somewhere down the line, your offspring will be this. Your offspring will be this. Make no mistake about it. You may think you're resisting now, but there's no resisting this. There's no resisting technology. You think you're going to vote this out? You think you're going to vote these out, these people out, the best and the brightest? Huh? It struggles, but it still obeys the simulation signals. It struggles, but it still obeys. Do you understand what's happening? Do you understand what's going to happen? Consider this one of your last and final warnings. I don't care about politics. I'm not part of your gang. I'm not part of your religion. I'm not part of your race. I'm not part of your culture. I'm not part of anything. I'm just someone who is an observer from afar. That's what perspective is. When you're in the politics, when you're in the me, 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 you don't have perspective. 
that's what it means to have perspective is that you step back from all that. You separate your emotional feelings of how you want it, your group to win. But whenever we win, this is what happens. You want your group to be in charge of this. Whether you're a left winger, right winger, whatever the hell you are, Christian, or you just want to be in charge of the, the insect torture, the animal torture, the planet torture, or do you want it all to stop? That's what I want. I want us to be free people again. I don't stand with any of you. I stand with this bug. Your team, whatever you are, I'm team this bug. And fuck all of yous. If you're not on team bug. Because if you're not on team bug, the bugs are going to get you. I guarantee it. You can kill me and nature's going to send another bug. Another fly. A million flies. A billion little flies buzzing around. Until we take our planet back. From this evil of science and technology. And the people behind it. Who hate nature. They hate us. They hate freedom. Because those things were denied to them. And that's the story of everything. That's the story of civilization. Is hurt people hurting people. The people who, who control this world are so hurt that they can't even admit that they're hurt. They think that they're a superior race because <laughs> they've devolved into psychopaths. They think psychopathy is <laughs> some sort of superior genetic... It's not. <clears throat> they believe and they want you to believe that being a psychopath is the next stage in evolution. If you don't believe me, pay attention. That's all it really comes down to. Do you want to be that bug with the wires in your brain, struggling, but still you obey? That's the question you need to ask yourself. And I'm going to tell you what the stakes are, and I'm going to tell you what the sides are. There is no left versus right. There is no blue versus red. There is no white versus black. It's just science versus nature. Science and the technology and civilization versus nature. And nature will win. But the question is how far into total madness are you going to go before you let nature come back?